Well, beating the odds is what Jay's journey is all about. Jay was a high school valedictorian who suffered a devastating injury just weeks after graduation. But instead of giving up, Jay's new goal was Duke or bust. Eyewitness News anchor Emory Tiernan shows us his fighting spirit and the lesson for all of us. The iconic Duke Chapel rises up from the highest point on the Durham, North Carolina campus. And a stop inside is a must for visitors. Definitely a big selling point for the university. And prospective students like Jay Ruckles House, who was heavily recruited. He was the top kid of the class. Everyone wanted him here. But Jay's future changed in an instant after a paralyzing dive into shallow water at Geist Reservoir. John Christian Ruckelhaus IV. It happened just six weeks after graduating in 2011. He was Cathedral High School's valedictorian, an extraordinarily bright teen who had missed just one question on the SAT. When I was first injured, I had no control over anything. Um, besides the fact that I couldn't move my body, I was, I was in the hospital, I was not where I was supposed to be, all my friends were going off to college, um, I was upset. Jay is 20 now and says the accident made him face failure and imperfection. It's a very sit stressful situation. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is, you never prepare for this. His mother, Mary, moved with Jay to the Shepherd Rehab Center in Atlanta for specialized care. And we were there and saw that Jay needed help breathing, talking, and slight movement in a finger was celebrated. Jay would stay a year, and it became increasingly clear that Duke would have to wait. For him not to come is a big blow. I mean, the class of the scholars are small. We're talking 12 to 15 students, so missing one is... A big part of that. We knew from the beginning Duke, it was Duke or bust. We're looking at mod making these modifications. And back at Duke, Lee Fickling from the Disability Office started sending personal bi weekly letters to Jay Correct. in Atlanta. I didn't want to be too pushy, but I wanted him to know that there were resources here and we were ready to assist just as soon as he was ready. After six months, Jay replied. I was so excited. It was an email that I saw, and when I got it, I just about fell out of my chair because I thought, this is what I've been doing. You know, I've been waiting on this day. It was a year later than planned that Jay started his freshman year. If we had not allowed him to do that, it would have been one more thing that the injury took away from him. I was always going to come to Duke. Um, I refused to let something, even as serious as a spinal cord injury, prevent me from coming to where I was supposed to be. He is Duke's really only campus. quadriplegic student. Um, so I can feel like basically from here up and then everything else is either numb or no feeling. But it is his journey, cool. but there uh, are limitations. So I can move my arms about this much. Um, definitely an improvement that I used to be. So when I was first injured, I could only move my head about this much and shrug my shoulders. It was clear Jay couldn't go to Duke alone. I didn't want this to be Mary going to college with Jay. And Jay was adamant about that. Who wants to go to college with their mother? Jay instead asked a neighbor and childhood friend, Joe Witschker, to come to campus too. I trust him with my life, and if there's anybody I want to do this, it's Joe, and so I might as well, might as well try. Um, and he said yes. You must be the famous Joe. <laughs> Family fundraising created a fund to pay Joe, who is now studying nursing at a community college. He lives with Jay in a newly adapted apartment in the freshman dorm, and he blends in. I get along with everybody. So. Joe helps prepare forkable food for Jay to eat. He makes sure Jay has water. He anticipates. Nobody's he helps. I couldn't, couldn't do it without Joe. I'm just here making sure that he gets to where he wants to be. And Jay is thriving. I'll tell anyone who listens, Jay got three A pluses and an A last semester. So he's doing something right, right? The grades are all the more impressive when you see how Jay has to do his work. Most of my classes are like pretty writing intensive. Like write this outline for political science using his knuckles. Select down. And voice activation software. Benefits on foreign trade. The process is tedious foreign trade. To see the amount of work that he has to do just to present the same work as every other student is mind-boggling to me. The study space is also where Jay works on his strength. Joe helps setting up electric stimulation for Jay's leg muscles. His caring and his ability to be very calm under pressure is remarkable. It's hard to believe year one is done and Joe has already agreed to go back.
I'm going to get my goals done, but I'm going to make sure that he gets his also. Looking back, I don't know if there's one thing I would have done differently. Um, it's been it's been phenomenal, and fortunately, I have so many people that I can actually thank um, for making it that way. And the education continues this summer. Part of Jay's scholarship includes studying a semester abroad at Oxford. And yes, Joe is going to. Anne Marie Tiernan, Eyewitness News. In fact, nearly 700 people will attend a gala tomorrow night where Jay will announce his brand new foundation called A Ramp Less Traveled. Jay says he's learned that too often education is out of reach for people after a life-altering injury, and he aims to change all of that. Quite an inspiration he and his friend are to a lot of yes, people. Yes, yes.